Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to draw vectors. Now, we spoke about the fact that vectors have, to have both magnitude and they also have direction. And I just want to uh, explicitly go through how to physically draw one. So magnitude, it's got a, a number associated with it, a length, um, a weight or whatever, and a direction, well, it's, it's going in a particular way. So let's draw my y-axis and let's draw my x-axis, which together make my, my uh, xy plane or my Cartesian plane. You'll get used to that as well. So how do you draw vectors? Well, they have a magnitude. So the magnitude could be 0 0.1, it could be 2, it could be 1 million, or we'll say just 1,000, I don't want to draw all the zeros. Uh, it could be anything. So you need to draw and make a scale just like any 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 other it's like um drawing on a a graph it's it's exact that's exactly how you draw vectors you think of them as a graph so remember in maths you'd be given a point you might be given the point x is equal to 2 y is equal to 4 and you might call that point um a and what what would you do you would say well i call this one unit this two units i'm going to call this one unit there's two units, three units, four units, and it'd go 2x, 4y, and it'd draw a point. So the vector is the line joining the origin to that point. So this is the vector. So A is the vector 2x plus 4 y. Now you'll find in a moment, when I talk about unit vectors, that this actually will be written two units in the i hat plus four units in the j hat. Now don't worry about that. You can just think x and y. i and j, x and y, they're the same thing. You'll, you'll realize in a moment they're the exact same thing. So that's how you draw a vector. You draw it exactly like a graph. So how would I draw the vector c equals minus x uh, plus 2j and just again I'm going to say c is equal to minus i hat, that's x, plus, oh that's 2, sorry that should be 2y, excuse me, I'm, I'm working ahead, 2j hat like that, and this would be, this would be minus 1 in the x, and that's 2j here, and 1, 2 in the y, so this you, you draw your point, and you draw your line connecting the point to the origin, remember of course the arrow is at the point itself, and that, that gives you your direction, so this would be the vector uh, this might be the vector C, and this, as I said, it was the vector A. Uh, anything else we can talk about drawing vectors? Oh yeah, the, the angles. Angles all are always, almost always measured from the x-axis, from this point in the x-axis. So they go this way. Alright? So this angle here would be, we'll say that's theta. Then, then you go, you get this angle here, might be alpha. Now, the, remember, there are 360 degrees in a circle. Okay, you can go clockwise or anti-clockwise to get to the same position. However, in maths, you're always told to go, well, more, more often than not, you're told go anti-clockwise, work around this way. Now, obviously, if I wanted to get to C, I could go the whole way around here like that and get to C. And this might be, that might be, what, um, 200 degrees? All right, and this would make that would make this one 160 degrees. Now you'd usually go with the smaller one, but they get to the same point. They get to the same point. So you usually just pick one and go pick one and go for it. But usually try and go for the smaller one. And if you can, start by going anti-clockwise. So uh, the vector, like if I was to draw the vector once again, I'll do it right. You'd say say the vector c, which was equal to uh, c was equal to minus x plus 2y, I also call it equal to minus i hat plus 2j hat. Now, we'll say that this is the vector here, there's c. Now, how would you give the angle associated with c? Well, you could say, you could say it's this angle here, you might say that's 160 degrees. Yeah, but now look, that's a very big angle there. So instead you might, you, you would you'd usually do this, you'd say it's a uh, uh, 160. Then we that you might you might draw this angle here, 20 degrees, all right, or you might say it's actually 180 degrees this way. 
Now the reason I say to you that you, you usually go anti-clockwise and you measure from the this point on the axis is that if I have two vectors and you want to find out the angle between the two vectors well then you usually you're going to have to start at the same point. So like we'll say if I had a vector this one here I had C and I had A or we'll say this is D in actual fact D and this would be, uh, excuse me, this would be C. Now of course you could say this here is 160 degrees you could say this here is, um, I don't know, we'll say that's uh, 100 degrees you could do that and then you'd be able to say well it's 360 minus all those angles and you're able to get this angle here but it's, you're always best to go from the positive x-axis so I would say just to draw that again the way I would do this is I would say there's my axis you draw C okay you work around from the positive x-axis and you go 1, 6, 0 and then you have D down here and I'd go the whole way around to D like that and the angle, now it's, not, it's difficult to draw but the angle would be this angle there and it would be uh, whatever it is so we'll say 100 or 200 degrees that's the one you need, so you have 200 degrees and then you'd also have another one in here of 160 degrees, the smaller one so try and read from the positive x-axis Draw your, your vectors as if they are, um, if, they're, if, you're, if you're drawing a graph. Uh, you label your vector, you put the arrow where the point is. You label your vector at the top, so this would be the vector A. And, uh, yeah, and you draw, you try, you draw your, uh, you can, there are different ways of drawing the angles from the positive x-axis or which is, whichever one is smaller. Now there's one last thing, I'll do this very quickly. There are three ways of drawing a vector, of writing a vector. You can have an arrow on top you have a line underneath or a squiggly line underneath they all mean the same thing the vector A, the vector A, the vector A pick one and go with it okay it's usually done in school that you have the, the arrow for, I don't like it because it just takes too long for me to draw it I prefer just doing that the squiggly line uh, that, that's kind of nice too I suppose and you'll find actually when you go into college if you do it that you might have another symbol with vector at a little hat and well if you had a hat and a vector it gets kind of messy, so for that reason, you might do this instead. And that's just a bit, it's a bit neater. So look, you have three different ways of writing a vector. All of them mean the same thing. I will usually do this one here. Just uh, pick one and go with it. And that's how uh, you draw vectors. A small bit about them. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Pass it on to your friends. And thanks for watching.